chef, thank you so much for having us over. This was so much fun. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. You know, the Barn Bill store, uh, we're welcoming all the people to come out and try our food out. And thank you for, for being part of this. Oh, absolutely. This historic Bartonville store has come to life again with you at the helm cooking this food that you've been influenced by all of your world travels. So I'd like to take a minute and ask about that. So let me tell you what I've heard. Tell me if I'm right. That you've cooked for Queen Elizabeth, Paul McCartney, Turkish Airlines, Air France, and private charter jets that go all over the world. Yeah, I've, uh, I've had a very lucky experience in my culinary life, actually. Uh, I've, in Chile, I used to cook for all kinds of different celebrities. And here in the United States, I cook for a company that we used to do all the catering for the main airline. So, you know, I've, I've been very blessed. That's awesome. Cooking almost 30 years now, and Bartonville gets you to come here. That is so cool. Well, you know, um, I was really moved when I came to Bartonville for the very first time and uh, I saw what a beautiful place they have, you guys have over here and I just want to be part of it, you know, and try to put Bartonville back on the map and, and I was trying to do that with my food so and with this great place that we have. Well, based on the lunch that we had today, you've done that. Is you, I did some damage today. I mean, that food was amazing. So can we talk about the food? Because Foodie Friday is about the food. Okay, perfect. All right, good. So we started out with that amazing flatbread. Tell us about that. Okay, well, our flatbread is actually, it's uh, the dough that we cook on the grill. Um, you know, it's an Argentinian-style flatbread. Uh, we cook it on the grill. We put our signature uh, brisket on it, uh, arugula. It's just very fresh uh, for something that has a smoky flavor to it. You know, with the arugula, the fresh onions, it's just water in your mouth. Yeah, it was. It literally was. And then we had those ribs, which two of the team members that I brought here today, they weren't talking. They were just like eating the ribs and are in heaven. Tell us about those. You know, it's uh, it's funny. We we started working with the with that recipe as soon as we opened and um, I wasn't I wasn't big on barbecue before I came here. Um, but I think uh, I think we got a really good recipe that people are really enjoying. This is one of our top sellers, so definitely Right, and then we had the pastrami hamburger. Well, let me tell you about that burger. I mean, it's, it it's was like, madness. It was this it's tall. madness. Yeah, yeah. We have, a, you know, we have our YU patty, 100% YU uh, from Rosewood Ranches. We have our pastrami that we make in-house, uh, 15 days to cure. Um, then we top it off with this bacon that's just unbelievable from bacon. Duroc bacon, from Tender Belly. It's just unbelievable. Uh, great flavors, great ingredients will make always great dishes. So it's just a little turnaround kick. Right, but what was that stir fry? I've never seen it. I've had stir fry, but that stir fry was totally different. Tell me about that. Okay, well, a little bit about my traveling all, all over South America and me being able to live in a lot of countries has uh, kind of made me into a fusion. It's what I like to do, my fusion style cuisine. And uh, this dish is actually in Peru, it's called uh, Lomo Salteado. And um, I just wanted to give it my little twist. And uh, that's what we came up here with some great YU beef on there. Very good. Well, I loved it. And speaking of YU beef, you gave us a steak that we will not forget for a very long time. Tell us about the steak. Well, one of the things that I do have to say is, as I was telling you, when you have a great product, you can only make great things with them. And uh, we're very fortunate to have uh, Rosewood Ranches as one of the main things that we have here that we serve is everything mostly is YU from Rosewood Ranches. So, you know, it's a company out of Ennis, Texas. Uh, beautiful product is how they take care of their cattle. Everything's all natural, no hormones, no antibiotics. I mean, it's just wonderful. It's good, it really is good because that steak had the beautiful mashed potatoes and that little that little slaw of the onions is pickled. It was just hang on a minute. Salad? Yes, that was Oh yeah, I just had to think about it again. That was so <laughs> good. It was so good. And now you also have a full service bar. Yes, sir. Um, you know, we've came up with this uh, little design of an old uh, Barnville store kind of bar that we had uh, some great people work on it. Um, you know, we're, we're open to our public and we just want them to en enjoy great music that we have here, our great bar lineup that we have. So tell me about the live music. 
We've had some great artists already come play here, like uh, Dale Watson. Uh, it was a great concert. Uh, people really enjoyed him. And uh, now we're going to have Mr. Butch here, so oh, it's going to be awesome. So people come here to get an incredible meal, listen to live music on the weekends, or come here with their families. But I saw one thing that most restaurants don't have. You have a full-on butcher shop in the restaurant here at the historic Martinville store. Tell us about the butcher shop. Well, uh, as I was mentioning, you know, the Barnville store, uh, the, one of the things that we wanted to have is kind of that experience of you being able to pick up your own meat. So you can come up to the counter, buy the meat, take it home, grab from our grab and go, you know, have pre-made meals ready for you. Or you can pick out a steak from our butcher shop and uh, enjoy a great steak here at the restaurant. Oh, that's awesome. All right, last question, and by the way, I just have to thank you again, Chef. It has been so much fun. I had a great meal, and I'm going to definitely come here with my family for sure. Thank you. But if it. you had an opportunity to tell a thousand people one thing about the historic Bartonville store in this restaurant, look into the camera. What would you say? Well, I just want to invite you guys to come out and uh, experience this small but with a lot of history, a store that's just amazing. The owner of this place, Mr. Tim, he's just tried to make this place his dream place to listen to music and this is what we want to offer you guys great music great food great drinks come try us out absolutely thank you so much and i just want to tell everybody thank you for watching foodie friday dfw come meet chef walter bantz come eat here a lot because you'll love it and you'll thank me but most of all this place is incredible thank you for watching foodie friday dfw and until next time